Good morning and welcome to another day in the world of Steve's Adventure of the Ring. So today is day four, back to bright sunshine. Where are my new top? Looking pretty good. What do you think? I know uh, a bit shabby. I'm going to look like an idiot walking around here with this on, but who cares? My first time. I'm going to enjoy myself. So, plans for today. We're going to go and take a little visit over to Ring Garage. That's the first thing we're going to do this morning. See if they let us take a look around and have a look at the cars. Later then we're going to go to the museum. Something I've never done. Uh, we're going to spend an hour there. And today is the last full day we've got. So we're going to be getting some more uh, track time this evening for the tourist lap. So it's now Saturday. We leave tomorrow morning. So it's our last full day. So we're going to make the most of it. So come with us and join us on our journey all right so unfortunately ring garage is closed but we're gonna just take a peek through the windows very nice clear i don't think you're really gonna be able to see much in there some of the rentals in the car park rowan's vlogging unless this door's open no can you see it's jamming right up against the window <laughs> some nice cars in there but unfortunately we can't go in and have a look so <clears throat> i'll show you some of the cars they got in the car park so the gt86 i saw that going around track yesterday but i assume it was that one or one similar sirocco federal rsrs the megan i like these cars they're very nice oh nice bit of shoulder wear there that's been well used Another one, on Lightning McQueen. I'm assuming this is not a track car, it's just a bit of advertising, is it? I don't know, it's a bit of shoulder wear. They may have used this one on track, no doubt. So that is the ring garage. Like I say, we are staying just over there. All right, before we head back out today, now I've got to put some air back in the tires. I've been dropping them down to 25 26 psi so 25 front 26 back when it was dry and they've been performing really well still plenty of tread i say that's three well one one session on the gp circuit and um three dry laps on the ring two wet laps uh the one thing i wasn't going to do and i haven't mentioned yet i say i wasn't going to do in the beginning, before I come, I had this idealistic idea of lap timing and I wasn't, didn't want to get too carried away with it, but I was going to put Ari's lap timer on. Well, I haven't put the timer on. So I'd done the first three dry laps, no lap timer, and I wasn't even going to worry about the lap time. But then when I come back home in the evening and check the footage, it's hard not to just look through the camera footage and see what times you had. So, First lap I didn't check because I was very slow. Second lap was 10 minute 20. Third lap was 9 minute 40. So it was improving. I mean, to be honest, with you, I did have a little goal of I would love to have gone sub nine minutes, but I'm not going to be chasing that time tonight. But if I go any quicker, I do. If I don't, I don't. But like I say, I won't be viewing lap time when I go around or anything like that. I might just check the footage back at the end when whatever we get we get i want the car to go home in one piece so that's it now we finish pumping them up and they'll be ready for the day so we have arrived at ring work the museum so let's head across this bridge and get inside Shops up. That is gorgeous. Opel Cadet. See a lot of these on the the Berg hill climbs. Beautiful old classic. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah. Where's that airling gone? Change gear. It's for there. Let's see. Professional now. Don't fall. Right, so that's the end of our little trip to the museum. We had a little look around the boulevard, info centre, etc. Definitely recommend coming here if you've never been here. So now we're going to head off, enjoy the rest of our day, get ready for the ring this evening. So we are back down by the ring entrance in the car park. It's just uh, just gone five now. Track opens at half past five because it's Saturday. It's a short opening. It's only open for an hour and a half tonight. So. I've got my two laps left to use and I'm hoping to do more so I think I'm going to do two back to back then go and buy another two and do them two back to back so that is the plan Cherry well and truly popped. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm sweating. Oh, air comes on and all. That's probably cost me a minute. I couldn't have shared this experience with someone better than you, but yeah. now go home and make me a salad roll. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> 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 I have finished my two laps now and the first one I got out straight away when the track was just open um, we had a fairly clear track no yellows uh, one or two old ups for them faster cars pass but I wouldn't even call it old ups for, for my skill level that was the best that I could do I was going to do more than two laps but to be honest so I, I pushed so hard in that first lap that I come off just feeling like I don't think I can do any better than that. I'm just going to go home satisfied. So I did the second one and the traffic was quite heavy. So I'm not going to push for it anymore. I'm going to be satisfied with what I got and wait till the next time. Now I know I'm taking the car home in one piece and I am buzzing. <laughs> that was just amazing. So Devil's dying man, watching the cars come in. I am absolutely like great for just once the first. I am so happy with this trip. It's been phenomenal. Some really nice cars here though. It has been an experience of a lifetime. I 100% recommend it to anyone. If you can afford to do it, come do it. Is the Apex 7 up and 
I think, unless anything else exciting happens tonight, I think that might end day four 